City leaders are weighing in on the recent hit and run incidents killing two cyclists in the past two months. TV 20's Alexis Goings tells us not all cyclists are convinced the city's plans will make roads safer. With the recent tragedies of not one, but two deadly hit and run incidents involving a vehicle and a cyclist within the last two months, the conversation of safer bike lanes and road safety in Gainesville is at the top of the discussion. The new Gainesville City Commissioners are prioritizing safer bike lanes to prevent further tragedies. It's going to be mandated that for our high speed, high traffic roads that we're going to have protected bike lanes that fully protect cyclists from cars and for medium traffic, medium speed roads, there will be bike lanes so that we will have have a fully built out network that will allow people to safely get to where they want to go on a bicycle. They announced the Safer Bike Lanes project days before 29 year old Margaret Walker hit and killed a cyclist and left the scene. Gainesville police are still investigating another deadly hit and run incident that happened last week. Roger Pierce says he's been cycling for more than 30 years. He says there is nothing wrong with the current bike lanes, but cyclists and drivers need more road safety education. Be aware of your surroundings and what's going on. Like if you if you have to ride in the, at dark on a road that doesn't have a bike lane, you really should be lit up like a Christmas tree. But even that won't help you with a drunk driver. Commissioners say they hope to begin adding some improved bike lanes this year. In Gainesville, Alexis Goings, TV 20 News.